Volume 2, Number 4. Michael calls his mom to ask if they would assist him. Mom, hey, listen, I need to take Grace out for the night, and I was wondering if you could watch the kids overnight. I'm going to take her to the cottage afterwards, and we're just going to spend the night at the cottage. Is that okay if you could do that for me? Have the nannies assist you for the night? Yeah, that's fine. Is there any reason why you're going to spend the night at the cottage instead? No, just we need time to be just a time out. Okay, sounds good. So Mike calls Grace and says to Grace to get a couple things together and to come over to the cottage. Hey, Grace. Can you grab a couple things? We're going to stay at the cottage tonight. We're going to have a time out. Okay, sounds nice. I'll be over shortly. So Grace grabs a couple things and comes over. So what's going on, honey? Why are we staying at the cottage tonight instead of staying at the house? Well, I have to tell you about what kind of day I had first. Um, it was one of those days where I just didn't want to unload with the kids being around and I just needed some time alone with you. Okay, do you feel like walking? Yeah, I feel like taking a walk and just telling you what's going on. Okay, let's talk. So they take a walk hand in hand and they it's still light out so they get a chance to talk. Well, Grace, I had a team meeting for the first time with my security team. And we had to take a vote on who's the new security team leader. And it's the first of its kind. As you know, I haven't had a security team leader ever. And Frank Rutherford is, um, well, there was some chatter about hiring Mike Roberts as the team leader. And they thought that maybe I had something to do with the promotion and they thought that there was some favoritism on the part of me. And there was some office chatter and I had to dispel it. And it just was a lot of office gossip. So I had confronted the matter. And to say the least, it was just a very hard day. Oh, really? Is that what happened? Yeah. I guess they think that maybe because of Vanessa Miller... Now, Vanessa Roberts being married to Mike Roberts, that maybe she, he got a promotion because of it. But I tried to explain to them that that was Frank Rutherford's decision, not mine. And nonetheless, it, it was cleared up, the confusion between Frank Rutherford promoting him was his decision, not mine. So that led to the team meeting um, the questions that were asked, no, normal questions, you know, like why was Mike Roberts promoted and not them? And I guess I just really wanted to get away from all this. And I just wanted, to, I kept thinking about you. Um, the more I thought about you, the more I thought this is what I needed as a timeout. You know, it's Thursday after having a team meeting and re doing the Thursday report, you know, I don't usually go in on Fridays. I wouldn't go in this Friday any more different than any other day. But Frank had offered to buy the company at one point. And, you know, it's always tempting when you have confrontations at work and things like that. That offer sits there, and I've been sitting on that offer for a while. And the way things are going on with the economy and things that have gone on, I've been tempted to take that offer at times. Oh, really, have you considered it, said Grace? Yeah, I've considered it. But then I think about my future, and I think about the relationships I have. And I think about a lot of things and how long I've tried to 
work on building this company for almost 30 years. I've been in the automotive industry. And then, you know, I have to weigh out what I really want. After you go into Pittsburgh, I realized how alone I felt. You know, it was only three days that you were gone and I just really ached over it. And I really wanted time alone with you. And Grace, I promise before school starts, I want to go to Pittsburgh with you. I want us to travel to Pittsburgh. And I wanted us to either us to go together or us take the kids or do whatever we decide to do. But I really want us to travel out there before school starts. And we have the time to do it. We have the money to do it. Can I ask you a question, said Grace? Would you ever consider selling the company at some point? You know, it. I sit on this decision for a reason because I don't have like a time limit on when to decide. But looking the way things are going, it's something to consider. I mean, I've weighed it out before, but I'd have to really consider a lot of things. There's too much at at stake. I don't know. As the walk ends and they get back to the cottage, Grace and Michael cook up something really small to eat. They don't have much as far as groceries in the cottage, so they decide to order out. You know, when we first were dating, we didn't eat a lot. <laughs> we always ate out. Do you feel like eating out? No, I don't feel like going out. I just want time alone with you, Grace. Maybe delivery. What will we deliver? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not even in the mood to eat. I just had such a bad experience today. Let's just make breakfast. I feel like having pancakes. You want pancakes? I can make pancakes. So Grace makes pancakes for him. You know, pancakes for dinner is not a bad idea. Okay, we'll have pancakes. So Grace makes pancakes for him. He goes, you know what? Those are the best pancakes you ever made. I really enjoyed it. That's good. As they continue to talk about these experiences that Michael's had, he said, I need to know something about Pittsburgh. When you went out there, did you get what you needed out of that trip? Yeah, I did. I mean, in a way, I needed to go to revisit some things. It was like, in a way, sometimes you have to tie up some loose ends. I needed to do that for that reason. So I needed to experience why I did what I did. And I needed to be reminded of why I left when I left and why I did what I did. I needed to just kind of reset. I, I, I don't know if that makes any sense to you, Michael, but I needed to press reset. I understand, Grace. I, I understand. Sometimes you have to revisit some things and just be reminded of what why you did what you did. That's exactly right, said Grace. I left home. I just needed to see my family. You know, I miss home. And sometimes when you miss home, you just have to be there just to experience home again. Not that I have to live there to go home or anything. I just needed to be home. As Michael and Grace get in their night clothes, they just realize that it's time to curl up in the bed and relax a little. And they held each other as they talked. It's so nice to be alone. I miss, I miss this. I mean, I love having children. But I really, really missed our time alone as a couple. 
we don't get time alone like this. We usually pass out before it's time to really be together. It's like we've been so bogged down by so much work, children, family. I just am thankful right now that we have this time together. As they made mad love together, they lost track of time. They got through the night holding each other for the remainder of the night into the morning. By morning time, they showered and cleaned up and got were well rested. I feel so much better that we had that time together, said Michael. Thank you for doing this for me. We probably should get back home, Michael. I mean, your parents are nice enough to watch the kids. I'm sure they're going to want a break. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, let me call my parents. Hey, Dad. Um, we're on our way back over. Oh, good. The kids need you. Okay, we'll be on our way over. Give us a few minutes. Okay, Grace, I just talked to my dad. The kids are wondering what's going on. So let's go over. Okay, so Grace and Michael take each a car and drive over to the house. By the time they got over the house, they, the kids were waiting at the door for them. Mom, Dad, where were you? Uh, we went out for the night. I'm so sorry, kids. We're home. I missed you. It's not like you to stay out all night. Uh, we were, we went on a little vacation. Okay, mom, I love you. And Jenny kisses mom. Uh, honey, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you missed me so much. Elijah was like, Dad, where did you take mom? The cottage. Oh, you're at the cottage. Okay. So what are we doing today? It's Saturday. Well, listen, I know it's a busy Friday. What? Well, it's not Friday. It's Saturday, Dad. Okay, whichever, but we have special plans. We're going to Pittsburgh. Oh, we're going to Pittsburgh. Yeah, we're making arrangements to go to Pittsburgh before Labor Day. Oh, really? Are we going to see our family back in Pittsburgh? Yep. That's what we decided. That's why we wanted to stay out for the evening and make plans. Oh, that's great. Is it just going to be us, Grandma and Grandpa? I think we're like Grandma and Grandpa take a break. and It's just going to be us kids and Mom and Dad. Oh, wow. Grandma and Grandpa aren't going to go. Well, it's up to them if they want to go. Okay, sounds good, said Jenny. Bailey's never been to Pittsburgh, so she was a little confused. What's Pittsburgh? Well, Bailey, you're going to go travel with us. We're going to go see some family. Oh, that's good. So I'm going to meet all these family members that I never heard about? Well, you met them before. They came to visit. Okay, that's right. Aunt Monica, Aunt Lauren. Oh, I remember. Okay, great. As they got into the house and unpacked their things a little bit, they got the morning started. The kids had already eaten breakfast, so they were well on their way. What do you want to do today? Well, first off, we missed you. We just want to hug you. Ah, uh, well... Just as the kids clobbered on top of Grace and Michael on the bed, Michael and Melissa and Josiah just couldn't get enough of hugging Grace and Michael. They were just all over their parents. It was really sweet. Michael said, maybe I was wrong. Maybe missing the kids isn't so bad after all. It's kind of nice. I miss the kids. See, Michael, all that stress goes away suddenly. Uh, you're right, Grace. 
We have a lot to be thankful for and lots to be grateful for. We sure do, Michael.